Let's take a look at how to share your screen in Microsoft Teams and more specifically how to share the audio if the screen that you're sharing has something like a video so that your students from home are able to hear the actual audio, full quality audio on their end so that they're not hearing you know, something that's too quiet or too static or echoey or something like that. So what, what you'll have to do first is hit the share content button that appears in the upper right hand corner of any Teams meeting. So you will need to be you know, inside of a meeting that you're hosting. And students do have the ability to do this as well, but that's, we'll talk about that in a different video. So from the teacher standpoint, you can hit the share content button in the upper right hand corner. And the most important thing here is to toggle this switch on, the include computer sound toggle. You wanna to click that so it turns purple. So that way it is showing you that it's activated. And including the computer sound will send the actual audio along with the video content to you know your recipients, your students at home. So they'll have the ability to control the volume and they are hearing the actual high quality audio, not just what the microphone is hearing. So I have a YouTube video somewhere and what you have here below here are the options for the screens that you are able to share. Now this would be any programs that you have minimized on your computer, as well as some Teams specific kind of functions like this digital whiteboard that you would be able to draw and show students what it is that you're drawing on your touch screen with a stylus or something. PowerPoint presentations, and do notice that you can scroll down on this list if you have multiple things open like I do, that you would be able to select and choose the exact window that you're trying to share. So down here is a YouTube video that I can now click that and it will show everything within this red frame is being you know, shared to the students that are involved with this meeting. Now, I did have the toggle set to on so that it's gonna share the audio. So if I hit play, then they are also hearing this on their end. And again, it is the actual high quality audio. It's not just the microphone hearing it and reproducing it and making it fuzzy and stuff like that. So be sure you have that toggle set. I'm gonna stop sharing here and just go over one quick thing that you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind. So when you hit that share content button, if you go to click this include computer sound toggle and it gives you any kind of message saying that it doesn't let you turn that on for some reason, it's probably because you need to change your audio device output or audio output device. And the way to do that, so again, if it doesn't let you turn it on, read the message because it will tell you what you have to do. But you'll need to click the three dots at the upper right hand corner and then go into your device settings. And then make sure that you have your speaker set to the correct speakers that it's wanting to include computer sound. And it will tell you the name of that speaker to choose once you click this and get that message. And then after you change it to whatever it wants, then go ahead and just turn on the toggle and it should let you that time. So that's just a little bit about how to share audio through the screens if you're sharing things like video content with your students through Microsoft Teams.